To install VMware on Windows 10, begin by downloading the VMware installation program. This can be found on the VMware site. To get to the site, Google for VMware and go to the VMware main site. Under Downloads, look for the free product downloads and select Workstation Player. For older versions, there used to be a Workstation product and a Player product that were independent, but these have been merged into Workstation Player version 12 and above. This will take you to the Downloads page for a VMware Workstation Player. Download the appropriate version for Windows, the first download button, and for Linux, the second. Click the download button and save the file. Go to your downloads and locate the file that you downloaded and run this executable. In this case, it's VMware Player version 12.1. When the setup wizard starts, click through the screens to get to the installation, including accepting the license agreements. If you want to install to a different folder, then change the installation directory by clicking the change button and then picking a new folder. Sometimes it's not a bad idea to install to the 64-bit directory for VMware Player. And to do that, you click on the C drive and then click program files without the x86 on the end. You can decide whether or not you want VMware to check for product updates on start and whether or not you want to send information from your computer back to VMware about the usage of the product. And click through the rest of the, the selections, making whatever choices that are appropriate for your system. Once you start the installation, you'll notice that the virtual drivers are installed. In particular, when you're installing virtual network drivers, a lot of times your network interfaces will become inaccessible as the installation program disables interfaces in order to install new drivers into the Windows operating system. So during the installation process, it's a good idea to make sure that you do not need access to the internet for that period of time. When the installation is done, you can click Finish. And to see the program, you can go to All Apps and then choose VMware. And you'll see the VMware Workstation 12 shortcut. You may already have some shortcuts on your desktop or your start menu depending on how you installed the program. You can also pin these to the start menu by right clicking on this shortcut and choosing pin to start and pin to taskbar respectively. Pinning the taskbar will put the program down in the taskbar. You will also see that when you pin it to the start menu that it will appear under the start menu where the rest of your shortcuts are located. In Windows 10, because these are tiles, you can move these around. 
The installation program creates a shortcut on the desktop itself. You may or may not want this shortcut. In my case, I'm going to delete it because I have it pinned down here in the taskbar. You can click whichever shortcut suits you the best to start up the workstation player. And you can enter an email address to use the non-commercial use version. This is sometimes called the free version or freeware. Then click finish to register the product. Once you get the product started, you may need to click past some advertisements pop up. And these ads will occasionally pop up if you're using the free version. Of course, if you're using the professional version or a other licensed version, you won't get the ads as often but you'll still see the ads even in those products if VMware releases a new major version. For example, in this case, if they go from version 12 to 13, you'll see an announcement in any of the product lines. At this point, you're ready to go ahead and you can either create virtual machines or install virtual machines that you've already downloaded.